Hey everyone and welcome to another devlog video for a procedural city generator. Super excited to show you guys some of the new features I've worked on the past few weeks and it's all about giving you guys more control over your road placement. Obviously the main way that you generate roads in PCG is procedurally. So if I have a few roundabouts here and I generate my connecting roads and then I can click on generate main roads and etc etc obviously PCG will go and generate the roads for you so you can see here uh, and of course you can control the way the roads are uh, generated by having some of the settings here uh, including some generation presets however um, there are some specific instances where you want to have more manual control over your uh, road generation so what I wanted to do was to make it a lot easier to add manual roads uh, to supplement the procedural roads that you have. So obviously you can select any road as a spline and modify it. You can also go to manual mode here and that's, that's already out, right? If you click on manual mode uh, and we can spawn or select a marker. In this case, we have this guy here. Uh, and if we wanted to spawn a new road, we can just go here and click on, let's say main road. And I'm going to move this guy here. Um, it's going to make something really simple here. And we can always simply grab this guy. I'm just going to move it here. Just not going to be super careful, but just, just to show the point. If I wanted to have my own custom road, you can go to manual mode, spawn the road that you want, and then simply add it to your city, do whatever you want, go back to buildings, and you can spawn the road buildings and then um, PCG will simply use that city, that uh, road that you spawned. So you can see here for your city. However, uh, this can get a little tedious as you have to keep moving your, um, your marker uh, to wherever you want uh, the roads to spawn and then click the button here. So what I wanted to do was make this a lot easier. Uh, so what if instead of using uh, the spawn uh, marker, you could just drop your roads directly in your city? That seems to be a lot quicker. So if you go to blueprints roads and I'm going to select like generic road main, I'm just going to go ahead and expand this guy here. And let's just rotate it here. You can see, and again, I'm not being super careful here. You can see that now, I can just do this, 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 and then I can just add another main road if I wanted to here. And same deal, I'm going to rotate. Maybe I'll come and put it here. rotate one more time and again not perfect but that's fine just to get the point across I'm gonna do this and then maybe I wanted to have some uh, minor roads and again I'm gonna do the same thing here maybe place this road here like this and again, because I'm doing this manually, I can really get uh, whatever design I want. I can even duplicate the road. I'm just going to do a 180 here. And uh, let's move it here just to make it a little bit more interesting. You guys get the point. Uh, it's a lot easier to make the exact design that you want if you are dropping the roads directly from the content browser. So what I wanted to do was to have a way to quickly add these roads to your city without having to fumble with uh, adding them directly to the, to the road array for the city generator. So I did just that. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, my really crappy design, but you guys get the point. Now, if you go to uh, the roads tab, you're going to see that there's a new button here called manual roads. And when you click here, there's literally a single button. I wanted to make this as easy as possible. You want to select all of your new roads. You can see that I have them selected here. 
and simply click add selected rows to city. Select the rows, add it to manual city. That's it. Then when we go back to buildings and we spawn our road buildings, uh, you'll see that now these new rows that I just dropped quickly have been added to uh, my manual city. And give it a second here. And there you go. It's as simple as that. So notice that we're still using, we're still basically mixing the procedural rows that uh, the city added plus the manual rows. They're all being considered. So now think about uh, the process of using this, uh, the, the road, uh, the auto roads to give your city quickly um, a, a nice procedural look. Then you can go in and, and fine tune by adding your own roads. Um, and that would make uh, basically the most sense uh, to give you guys the most uh, flexibility. I'm going to remove all the buildings here. Uh, go back to roads, remove all roads. All right. Um, so hopefully that will help you guys better custom design your cities. Uh, and there's one more thing that I added, which I think is really, really cool, which is the ability to change the row generation by zone. So again, right now, if I just generate my connecting roads, generate my main roads, it's going to do its thing, right? And if I go to advanced settings here, you'll notice that we have some presets. So for the main roads right now, the generation preset is grid like, which is why you're seeing all of the roads be pretty much straight, but you can change it to organic, mild, etc. But what if we move this setting to the actual zone itself? Because normally you would have maybe more grid like zones, maybe in the, in the city center, but maybe in the rural zones in the outskirts, those roads may start being more curvy. So, uh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Now you see, this is the entire city limit. I'm going to go ahead and remove the main roads again. And you can see that we have one main, uh, city, uh, zone, which is a commercial. I'm going to make this, uh, let's make this smaller. Let's make this like 2000. So it's going to be like half of the city. And then when we go down here, we have brand new setting right here called road generation presets. If we expand here is very similar to the way we, we we're doing landscape options. If you guys have seen that devlog, you can override the regular settings by clicking this Boolean and then it'll, and then the spawner will use the settings. So the same thing by default, the zones are not uh, changing the way the roads are generated. We're going to use the global settings here. But if you want a zone to override that setting, then you just simply click here and then you can change the setting per road type. So right now we're just going to keep it to main roads. This one will leave, will, uh, will change from, um, actually, you know what, we'll leave this without doing anything grid like I'm going to move it here. And now I'm going to simply duplicate this. And for this one at the bottom, we'll change the main rows from grid like to say heavy curve. I'm going to move this a little bit down here. And just to make sure that there's no overlap, I'm going to change the height to a hundred. So if there's a little bit of overlap, the top one will take precedence. So now I'm going to generate my roads, go back to general settings, generate main roads. And you can see immediately how any rows that is generated at the top, at the top half is grid like it's using the global settings here, but the rows that are generated at the bottom are heavy curves because they're now being overwritten by this. And look how nice it is, uh, how the same exact road goes from one end to the other. And here is straight. And then as soon as he gets to this area here, it starts curving. So that is really the cool thing. The same road as it traverses zone to zone can change its generation settings on the fly as it's being generated. Uh, so you're not limited to, to new roads. The same road can go from one end of the city to the other, and it can actually change the settings as it goes. 
So let's go ahead and remove the main roads and let's just make it even more exaggerated just to drive the point home here. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, maybe here, and let's make this like a thousand. Let's make this the middle and then this one will duplicate it. Actually, you know what? Let's make this 1500. That's going to be grid like the bottom is going to be heavy curves and the top one is going to be organic, which is even more curvy. And same thing if I go to uh, generate main roads, you should see basically the same thing. But now you can see even more, uh, even more of a change. Actually, I mean, hide these markers here. You can see how these rows start in the center very, very grid-like, and as they go farther and farther, they become even more curvy. In this case, organic, you can see how it's really, really, really curvy. And again, you can do the same thing for all of the different row types. So I can come here to this one, which is using heavy curves, and I can do the same thing for minor and side rows if I really wanted to. And I can go here to the top and do the exact same thing for the other kinds of roads. So remember, this is on a road type. So if we go and generate some minor roads, and I'm not going to spend too much time generating the whole thing, um, but just to give you the idea that as we're generating the minor roads, uh, the settings are again taken into account. Notice here that they're more straight because they're in the center, yet the minor roads here are way curvier at the end there. And let's just do one, one batch of side roads again uh, to drive the point home. I'll do one more side roads. There you go. So yeah. Uh, I really, really like this. Uh, this gives the city a lot more flexibility, especially with mega cities. Now that Unreal Engine 5 is getting closer and closer. With Nanite and World Partition, I want to make uh, mega cities be super easy to generate. So imagine uh, cities that are, you know, 10 times this size, and you can really uh, change the way that city is generated by creating as many or by laying out as many different zones in your city as you want and changing the way the roads are generated. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it guys. Uh, this is probably the last devlog that I'm going to do for the 1.1 update. I am pretty much done with all the new features. I now want to focus on um, bug fixes, polish, uh, and then I need to add a lot of the new features to highways like uh, landscape support and water support. Ro uh, highways are a little bit different than uh, generation for all the other roads, but that's not really a new feature. Um, I want to be able to release this in the next couple of weeks. I know you guys have been waiting a very, very long time. So thank you for your patience. It's, it's been a lot. Um, maybe in the next video, uh, when it's finally released, I'll show you guys what that looks like but this has been the biggest update 1.1 is the biggest update um so far compared to only the initial release which obviously had a bunch of stuff so this is going to be a massive update and i'm hoping and i um that you guys are going to really like everything that we've added so let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't joined our discord please join um, I post a lot more frequently there. Actually, I posted screenshots of this feature a few days ago after I, I, I worked on it. Um, so if you want to leave your comments, feedback, do it here on the video or uh, please join Discord and let us know what you think. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you in the next video.